The head of social planning for the city of Vancouver called me early in the morning and he said, you're going to get a call from Ottawa. Yeah, okay, what about? Well, you know, the mayor wants those kids out of Jericho and I told them if anybody could do it, it could be, it would be you. And uh, uh, so the health department federally is involved, so you'll get the call. I was mystified. Why would... What did I have to do with any of this, and how could I help? Anyway, so I got in the car, and I drove over to the RCMP barracks, which are right across from where all these hippies were staying. 1970, right? It's 1970. All these young people were staying in this uh, Jericho, what used to be an army barracks, but we're now just sort of a hostel. And it was okay for most of the summer, and the citizens didn't seem to care, and the fish didn't care, and the sand didn't care, but the mayor, Tom Campbell, cared. So, um... So I went over and I could see there were a lot of people there. There were officials from every level of government and every department, but they were doing nothing. So I picked up a, a phone and I called a bus company and I ordered several big buses to come down to Jericho. And the guy from Federal Health saw me doing this and he went, that's terrific. That's great. Okay. Okay. We'll pay for that. Also, if you could tell those kids that if they get on the bus now, Federal Health is prepared to spend money on a bus ticket, a plane ticket, or a train ticket to get them anywhere in Canada uh, that they want to go. They should go home. We're just trying to get rid of them. So I say, yeah, okay, fine. So I walk across 4th Avenue, and I go over to the barracks, and I walk in. There's a bunch of young people and, and bunk beds and so on, and I say, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is David. I was just over across the street where uh, at the RCMP offices. And uh, somebody is uh, sending some buses around, and the Federal Department of Health is prepared to give anyone who wants it a free airplane ride, bus ride, train ride to anywhere in Canada, because they want you the hell out of here. And out of nowhere, someone at the back yells, Here's a NARC! <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, I'm NARC. I run a residential treatment center here in town. The last thing I am is a narc, okay? No, he's a narc, he's a narc. I said, hey, wait, kids, hang on a sec. The thing is, I'm like, you know, I'm their age. I'm like 27 or something. So I said, look, the thing is, if you don't get out of here, they're going to come in and timber up on you. They're going to break heads, and the heads will be yours. No, no fucking way. That's not going to happen. Not with television cameras, not in a democracy like Canada, and so on. Okay. Fair enough, but on Thursday, October 15th, 1970, 250 police and army units came in and physically removed 200 young transients. Many were seriously hurt, and this incident went down in local history and lore as the Battle of Jericho. Pickle, when someone warns you of imminent danger, probably a good idea to hitch up and ride the hell out.